Olympic Trials Qualifier, All-American in both track and field and cross country, and Rono College Female Athlete of the Year. Not bad, considering Casey Smith arrived on Roanoke's campus in the late 1990s, having only casually participated in competitive running. Up through my junior year of high school, I had the mentality I was going to play softball in college. I was not, you know, going to run. I just ran primarily so I wouldn't have to go home after school. I didn't like having to take the bus home and just have nothing to do after school, so I picked, uh, picked up running. That very first couple of days she arrived on campus, uh, we had a time trial, and uh, you know, when, when the bunch of them lined up, I was just trying to be organized, and uh, I, couldn't, I didn't even know all their names, uh, but by the end of that day, I knew her name. The nation would soon know Casey Smith as well, in four short years, she would hold school and ODAC records in the 3,000 outdoors and the 5,000 outdoors and indoors. Her 10,000 outdoors may never be broken. Smith is the first Rono College track and field athlete to earn national championship status. What made her so good? Determination. And as her coach describes, mental strength. Casey probably ran 50 some races on the track for Ono College, and of those 50-some, she probably ran a personal best, which was usually a school record, probably over 40 of those times. And to step on the track and to run your personal best 80% of the time is unheard of. Throughout college, I really learned to just love the sport, and I've always been a very competitive person, and I, I don't like to lose. And not only do I not like to lose, I hate to lose. It's like every day at practice, someday I remember showing up and saying, I don't want this person to beat me. I don't, and that was my motivation a lot of the times is, you know, I know this, there was a runner from Lynchburg, and all I wanted to do for like a whole year was just, I just don't want her to beat me. And, um, and so that's a lot of motivation, the, the love for the sport and the willingness to really just dig deep. I mean, she was an extremely fast runner, but it, it was also just that she was so mentally focused. You know, she knew what she wanted and she pushed hard to get that. In cross country, Casey earned NCAA Division III All-American honors twice, finishing 21st as a junior and 27th as a senior. Her record of 1751 for the 5,000 meters on Roanoke's home course at Elizabeth campus was never challenged by numerous national qualifiers. I remember learning over time that when I would, you know, be in practice or in a race and just feel like this is it, I'm, I can't take another step or I'm almost there, that really when you feel like that, you might just be 75 or 80 percent of your max. Already an All-American entering her senior track and field season, Casey had her mind set on a personal best in the 10,000 meters. But during a practice run with her coach, Pincus asked her if she had considered becoming a national champion. Casey said no. Coach said, I think you can. So he kind of got that ingrained in my head at the very beginning of the outdoor season that maybe I can do it and um, kind of built my confidence throughout the year and built my training program to, um, to lead to that day and it turns out that, that it was executed perfectly and to work so hard for something and to execute every practice exactly how it should be executed and then to, on race day to do the same thing was really, really um, an awesome feeling. Race day at the 2001 NCAA Outdoor Track and Field Championships arrived. Casey, never more nervous, started the race following the strategic plan her and Pincus set in place. After five miles, the halfway point, Smith was running 525 miles with only one other competitor in the hunt. But not for long. Casey would annihilate the rest of the field with a record-setting victory. When she continued that pace, uh, the other athlete could only hang on for about another five or six laps. And it was at that time I realized that she was going to win. I didn't think she would win by 59 seconds, uh, but that was a huge margin of, of victory. And uh, looking over NCAA results, there's only been one year since that time that the margin of victory has been that large. My senior year, I won, I won the NCAA title, and that was that was just really that was an awesome feeling to, to cross the line first in my final college race. After receiving her diploma from Roanoke College, Casey graduated to marathon competition. 
She finished third in the Philadelphia Marathon and won the Richmond 26 miler, a victory that earned her a shot at her goal to date. Casey qualified for the 2008 U.S. Olympic Trials. Smith was seated 86th out of roughly 140 of the nation's best female marathoners. She applied the discipline, mental toughness, and determination honed at Roanoke College. She would cross the finish line 24th. Casey averaged 608-minute miles, over 26.2 miles, for a time of 2 hours, 40 minutes. A personal best by over 4 minutes. My goal going in was, was top 50. I really thought on a good day I could be in the top 50. And then I ended up being 24th. And that was, I never, ever, ever expected I would be 24th. The thing I'm most proud of in my whole running career is the fact that once I qualified, I didn't stop there. I said, I want to train my hardest to do the best I can. There were probably five or six women from uh, other Virginia colleges and universities. All of these were from Division I schools, and she beat all of them, which is pretty rare uh, to think that uh, you would beat all the Division I athletes who were on scholarship, and uh, she was good enough and smart enough uh, to beat them all. So uh, running at an Olympic trials is, uh, is a great, great accomplishment, and uh, you know, I just hope that uh, we'll get another one of those types of athletes uh, before my career is over. Casey now channels her vast running knowledge into her community, serving as running coach to Epiphany Lutheran Church in Richmond. Team Epiphany works with runners of all ages and levels in an effort to encourage healthy living. Casey's main message to her runners goes back to the foundations that enabled her to become a Rono College National Champion and an Olympic Trials qualifier. For me personally, I had that extra gear that, you know, it's just finding it, it's finding the power within yourself to dig deep and, and find out what you've really got inside because most of the time it's more than what you think.